All right, back with another video today, and we are going to check out the league leaders and team stats. So, uh, number one for total offense is Dallas Cowboys. That's not, it's surprising, but it's not. Because they've been doing good with passing and running. Like, they've had a really good balance overall, just offensively. All their receivers, Gallup, Cobb, Amari, and Tavon have been getting involved. Tight ends have been involved. Running backs, you got Pollard and Zeke. They got a good offense. Uh, Baltimore Ravens, number two. And that's overall. That's crazy. Um, Chiefs is three. Buccaneers is four. Seattle is five. Bucks? I don't know, man. This is not the first time I've seen them in the top five, like, within the past couple years. It's like, they can score points, but they can't win games, you know? They can rack up yards, but they can't win games. Like, mm -hmm. uh, number one passing offense, Dallas. Two, Kansas City. Three, Falcons. That's not surprising. On paper, they have one of the best offenses in the, in the league, but it's just... Uh, they can't, I don't know, same thing, can't win games. Number four, Bucks, and number five, the Chargers. Best rushing offense, no brainer. These top, the, top, the first two is no brainer. The Ravens, 210 yards a game, averaging. 49ers is number two with 145. That's a huge gap. That's huge. Three, got the Colts. That's surprising. I, I, didn't, I didn't know the Colts ran that much. Uh, four is the Vikings and five is the Bills. Those two, okay, those are like, okay, I, I understand those. Now we're on the defense. Uh, number one, best, number one defense right now, total defense. This, this is for yards. The, the San Francisco 49ers, the Patriots is number two. So they got top two, you know what I'm saying? Top two teams is both top two in defense, okay? Um, three is the Bills. I didn't know that. That's that's surprising. Okay. Four is the Bears. The Bills actually got a nice defense. Like personnel wise, they they are not bad. They're pretty nice. Um, five is the Chargers, which is surprising. And uh there when James comes back this week, so it's gonna be pretty big for them. But I mean they don't look like they're going to the playoffs. Passing defense, number one, 49ers. Number two, the Patriots. Look at that again, okay. Stop for the pass. Uh, number three, the Bills. Wow, so all three of them are one, two, and three in overall and passing defense. Wow, okay. And Chargers is number four in passing defense. Okay, wow. So Chargers defense is nice, just their offense the problem. Um, well, no, nah, I'm not gonna lie, they be getting ran on. Uh, five is the Broncos. Rushing defense, the Jets averaging 78 yards a game. That's crazy. Uh, oh, that's probably why they blew out the Raiders, because the Raiders do rely on a run a lot with Josh Jacobs. He nice, though, but okay. Tampa Bay, 78 yards, 78.7. How are they so bad? Like, they have a top five offense. Oh, I guess the pass, the pass defense must be it. Top five offense, top five rushing defense. Number three, Ravens, respectable. Number four, the Saints, and number five, the Eagles. Okay, so, okay. I didn't know the Eagles' run defense was going that well. Uh, let's see, who has the most interceptions? Can we check that out? Ooh, the most fumbles. Steelers got the most, wow. Um, Patriots, Patriots and 49ers right behind them. They defense been balling, and the least fumbles is the Giants. So they're not they're not forcing many turnovers at all. Giants and the Bengals and the Vikings. Wow, the Vikings are a good team. So that's surprising. I'm trying to see if I can find the most interceptions, but I don't see it. So let's see who averages points a game. Um, the Dolphins, of course, they let they allow the most points a game. Let's see who averages the least. The Patriots, wow, 
allowing 10.6 points per game. That is insane. And to think the uh, Ravens put up 41 on them. Uh, the Niners, oh, they put up however much they put on them. I think it was 40 something. Niners averaging 14.8 and the Bills 15.7. So Pats, Niners, and Bills defenses are, are for real this year. Uh, Bears 17.1 and Ravens 18.4. Hmm. So the Bears still have a solid defense. It's just they offense killing them. Uh, so it's really no top teams in the bottom. Besides the Seahawks, Seahawks are allowing 23.9 points per game. So they're toward they're in the bottom half. But I think they got a lot of young players on defense. All right, so the team with the most interceptions is the Patriots with 20. The next closest team is the Steelers. Steelers have been doing pretty good defensively. They just you, you, when you watch the games, like, their defense is very aggressive. But, uh, this is, so this is a little gap. They have 14, and the Patriots have 20. And it kind of trickles down after that. But, uh, Patriots is killing it as far as interceptions go. Let's see what the team with the least. The Cowboys have four interceptions on the season. Wow. Crazy. So, they have the least. Um... Cowboys, Lions, Bengals, Texans, and Cardinals have the least interceptions. That's bad on the Texans part. No turnovers. Um, forced fumbles. So when I said fumbles earlier, I guess that must have been like offensive fumbles. I don't know. But this is forced fumbles. Uh, Steelers and 49ers are tied first with 17. And who has the least forced fumbles? Uh... The Dolphins, Giants, and Bengals all have the least. Texans actually have good force fumbles. So they don't get a lot of interceptions, but they uh they number five in force fumbles. Pass deflections. Oh my gosh. Steelers have 74 pass deflections. Ooh. And they go to Patriots again. 80 84. So they number one. So still the secondary balling out. Still is Vikings got 72. All right, let's check out sacks. We got the most sacks. 49ers got the most sacks, of course. 44. The Panthers have 41. Wow. I know they for I know they they front seven was good. I didn't know that's that good. Still is 38. So they still is defense is nice. They top five in sack. Well, top three in sacks and picks. And, and I think four fumbles, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Pats number four and Browns number five. So that's dope. Let's check out touchdowns. So the Ravens have the most defensive touchdowns. I think Marcus Peters actually has. I think he only got one to go, so I'm about to say two. So he got three. It's a lot of people with two. It's time for two, so it's a whole bunch of teams. Yeah, yeah, we gonna end it there, man. I ain't, ain't really much else. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned, and stay blessed. I'm gonna try to do something with this uh, moving forward. Try to do it weekly, something like it. I don't know. We'll see. But stay blessed. You done messed up, A.A. Ron.